Hi, my name is Rafael Torres. I'm at the Apple Tree House in the historic Bergen Square section of Jersey City, New Jersey. I want to show you an exhibit that we had here involving cultural organizations to celebrate Christmas time here at the Apple Tree House. This would be the first time that the historic committee had gotten them together. They asked me to exhibit some of my work. So what I wanted to do is show you what I had been doing since 2004 in the work of carving santos and carving three kings uh, in the tradition of Puerto Rico. Thank you, James. Thank you, Martin, for inviting me uh, to the Apple Tree House to have this exhibit. So what I want to do is show you what I've done and then we're going to show you some clips of what we saw. Now I had my exhibit along with Riscaldo Alvarado and my brother Arturo Torres with pieces by my sister Nancy Sapero and I want to show what my tradition is in carving three king statues or three king saints in the tradition of Puerto Rico.
these are the drums from Puerto Rico, and we normally play them year round, but we especially love to play them around Christmas time. So um, what we did is replicate what we would do house to house in the in this period of uh, time in Puerto Rico, from literally like the day after Thanksgiving all the way through past Christmas, past the Epiphany on January 6th, and even for eight days after that, there's always a party going to go on. There's always drums, guitar, food, and drink. And you go house to house. And the good thing about the house to house uh, trip is that as you go to one house, eat all their food. <laughs> drink all their drink. They, they come with you to the next house. So the party and the caravan just getting bigger and bigger. Right. So as you walk into the second room, this is the main room and one of the oldest rooms in this house, the original part of the apple tree house. So I want to start my exhibit by showing the original part of my family, which is a mountainside casita. I want to show this traditional art by showcasing a mountainside right from Puerto Rico where my family lives in Abonito, Puerto Rico. Okay, so basically this was the beginning as you walked in to look at my exhibit. Exhibited my sister's clay sculptures that she did. This is in reference to her and my family's art. Uh, she is no longer with us so I was able to alongside the mountainside put her clay sculpture which is beautiful as you can see this style and these houses are seen all over the Caribbean but especially in Puerto Rico in the early days or I should say before Hurricane Sandy came and knocked down many of them we like to have these houses uh, little houses made so we could remember those times. So I wanted to go back a little bit in time, like the mountainside casita. I wanted to show you how I started in 2004. What I did was, I showed, the first thing you see was the three kings prepared by my master carver in Puerto Rico. And Hector Burgos, he created these, where I went on to create my first three kings in 2004. This, of course, is his. These were mine. And he created the first three kings that I had exhibited here at the Apple Tree House. Of course, like I said, the person who taught me. And here are my creations. that I just showed you. Now my mentor, my brother Arturo Torres created these three kings. He of course along the way as time passed by created these. Now another tradition is that we create these and we mainly give them to family. My excuse is that if I give it to family, I could borrow them back for future exhibits like this one here at the Apple Tree House. So these are Arturo Torres. He created the front ones here. Of course, these are the Magi Kings with the star background. You can see it. Everything is here is painted, including the background that I used from a mural that I painted in Jersey City. I continue with statues created during the years and like this one. St. Kateri. She's on top of three turtles taking her along the banks of a river to see God. 
This, of course, is Pope John Paul II. I created this one for one reason, and I'll show you why. I created this one in order to store my mother's favorite rosary. You see it here. This rosary was created. In Italy, and I stored it here behind St. Paul, which is my mother's favorite Pope. And there goes John Paul II, St. John Paul II. Now, some of the saints that I show here at the Apple Tree House. Of course, are not three kings, but let's start with St. Nicholas. During the Science Discovery Channel, I saw a documentary where they unearthed the bones of St. Nicholas and they said this is the way he looked like. So I created a saint statue of St. Nicholas. In 2005, I created this statue from a vision and picture that I took at a fire in Jersey City, New Jersey on August 3rd, 2005. It was an important time for me because I wanted to de decipher why I was able to see this picture. The picture itself was published, in case you didn't see it, there's the artwork. Riscaldo Alvarado. As you can see, this is the Vejigante tradition in Puerto Rico that he created. As you can see, using the walnut. And we'll go closer to this so you can really check out that. And of course, And on his table, I have some of mine. This is an early Magi that I created, Three Kings. They're 12 inches and they have mixed woods. One is oak and there's, I believe, two cherry woods. These I did not paint. So this one is called Buddhist Family. Growing up in a Puerto Rican family, so big that every, every event was an occasion of food, family, and friends. Big gatherings of generations and generations that reach back to the motherland with the traditions of standard foods for every day. Aguacate, tostones, arroz, carne. During celebrations visiting family, you could count on the special things when Abuelita brought out the huge caldero to make a massive pot of arroz con gandules. Pascua, Easter, meant ensalada de bacalao, spring goodness of root vegetables, onions, eggs, and salted codfish. Caliente o frío, hot or cold, it was worth every comfort food mouthful. Other occasions, bautizos, noche buena, New Year's Eve, Dia de los Reyes brought the truly great things. Arroz con dulce, pernil, arroz con gandules, mas y mas arroz con gandules, flan. And my favorite, pasteles. Making pasteles was a family affair long into the night, a production line of aromas and textures, a marathon of papel and twine. Stack stations of unrelated things became the steps to a family experience. Hours and hours after the slow roasted pork fell apart, boiled seasoned mashed vegetables to make the masa. Anaro seeds turned to atrotina, 
for its rich telling color. Olives green, fingertips blackened and orange by the labor of love. Those once unique bits turned into a structured stack of dozens and dozens of freezer-ready goodness because you couldn't just make one or two. No. This effort meant commitment, tradition, dedication, and drive until the last pot passed down, well-worn, dented, with its own story and its own history and its own traditions is scraped to the very bottom, signaling the chance to sample the family food effort and how close La Familia truly is when cutting the twine pulled out of the hot water, stinging fingertips. No pause until flipped out onto a plate covered in picante, ketchup, or nothing at all, and then to dig into it with laughter and the appetite for family connection. Thank you. Thank you for partaking in this celebration. If you were here, thank you for coming by. Thank you for Segunda Kimbamba, who came by with a parranda. And we want to thank Riscaldo Alvarado, my brother Arturo Torres, my sister Nancy, for their beautiful art and traditions in Puerto Rico.